One of the most satisfying weapons in Dead Island 2 is blunt brass knuckles. They feel and sound so brutal, feeling like you're in a mosh pit just tearing through flesh. Sorry, YouTube, please. And because Dead Island 2 has a rarity system, I was so, so intrigued by what a legendary equivalent would be of brass knuckles. And what I found was sadly not, no, <laughs> it was not great. <laughs> But I found something even better than this legendary. But the legendary is still a boatload of fun. So here's how you get it. Didn't sell you on on it really. It's cool. It just kind of goes against what makes brass knuckles good, which is their attacks. Anyways, here we go. Make your way to Ocean Avenue. It's the mall like place. When you get to that point in the story, uh, you've got access to it. Cool. Get to the very bottom floor and then go to the back left corner of the mall. Like look from the entrance, you're going into the store, but back left from that point. There's going to be a bathroom. Go into that bathroom. It's going to be a bloody mess. There's going to be a thing that you can pick up, a little item. You are going to unlock a pink or purple quest, which is actually how treasure hunt kind of quest which is going to be how you get access to a lot of the legendary weapons weirdly enough anyways it's basically a treasure hunt here's where the treasure map tells you to go <laughs> without having to read and extrapolate data now head to venice beach and make your way over to the salon it is located right here kill the enemies in the salon this is going to be a repeating thing that you're going to need to do Cool. So after you kill the salon person, you're going to pick up the item that they drop. It's going to, your character's going to talk and tell you that you got an aspect of it. The second thing you're going to want to go is down the street to the right to the marijuana place. It's like the place that has the green banner on it. It's just, just follow my footsteps also, if you just want to do that. Uh, you're going to arrive there. You're going to kill all the enemies around the weed shop and pick up anything that you can. Uh, and then boom, bam. Now you've gotten one of the things. One of the enemies drops it. It's usually the named enemy. Just kill everyone and grab whatever's there. <laughs> you'll be good cool the next thing you'll need to do oh by the way you probably will need to get to the pier okay so maybe you have to get to the pier first <laughs> before you're able to get this quest i apologize head to the pier <laughs> then make your way over to this location it's right as you enter into the main pier uh there's like this kind of uh, blue kind of food area you just follow my footsteps it's right there uh you're gonna pick up that and then you're gonna make your way uh out of that to the left and then you're gonna go kill this big boy zombie knock him dead uh he's a named enemy so you'll find him that way uh pick up that resource and now you eventually done it you've beat it uh and now you can go claim your reward so head back to the mall go all the way down into the carport which just again follow my footsteps <laughs> go here boom uh and then it is as simple as pop the trunk of the van in the bo bottom left and now you have access to this legendary weapon now am i just being a hater ass bitch about this weapon no <laughs> well maybe kind of a little bit it's great it's legendary so it's already just got a high base damage so it's gonna knock things anyway uh essentially it is a blunt weapon uh it's also frenzy meaning the more times you hit the more times you're attack speed increases and then your critical rate follows suit it's awesome and not only that this is one of the best formulas in the game for status mods my god you apply status very very quickly with these and these are no exception to that baseline rule <laughs> for frenzy and, and elements just go together but this thing's innate locked legendary perk is spitting fire knocking down or killing a zombie with a heavy attack gains you a moderate fire resistance and the chance of igniting nearby zombies. The second lock perk is called Skilled. Killing a zombie gains a moderate damage bonus to heavy attacks and increases your charge, uh, heavy attack uh, charge rate, essentially. So you can let go of a charge attack faster. Uh, what this looks like in practice when you actually do a heavy attack charge is like a sprinkler effect of, of fire. And then I think when you knock an enemy down, it does kind of a wave on the ground when it impacts. Uh, this is good. I just, it, uh, it, it feels weird. Like I don't, I feel like I'm massively incentivized to do a charge attack and I hate it. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, I also think that the mod that they have on that I got is just called weighted, which is increases your force, but decreases your speed. It's just uh, like one of the best weapons for applying status and just nuking people is frenzy weapons that are also, uh, uh, fist weapons because you can just hit and attack so so damn quick it's just crazy but it does not mean that this is not an incredibly good uh gear piece of gear you'll knock things heads off but it's also restricted to being fire based and you can't change that so uh, if you happen to hit a lot 
of firefighters, which holy crap, man, in the city of California, them forest fires you got over there, Jesus Christ, little Canadian over here, know nothing about that, but golly, <laughs> you guys uh, got a lot of firefighters in LA, shit, because <laughs> yeah, there's tons of firefighters, you're screwed with most of the time, can't use this weapon, fucking bullshit, <laughs> but does that mean we are utterly hopeless, or does that mean that, no, 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 there is a much much more hard coveted difficult to find weapon that i would highly suggest it is beyond cracked and insane take it away me in the i don't know in the fucking bottom corner or something now for what it's worth these are not bad uh, at all it's legendary and you're most likely going to be just doing absurd damage anyway but it's a little frustrating that they took brass knuckles which is one of the fastest attacking uh just blitzkrieg mosh pit run at enemies and just keep swinging uh and made its legendary perk the charge effect which just is weird. Granted, I think it would be a little OP if it did some crazy stuff with the attack speed, which the fists already have a pretty relentless attack speed. So I guess they're trying to give you a way to use the charge effect for this if you want, but it's just not very good a lot of the times, uh, or it's not as good as just hitting multiple times and just going to town that way like this, but it's still good. It's still good. It just doesn't, why are you buffing the thing that doesn't make it that special? But what if you could make something that works to the weapon's strength and is just absolutely nutty when it comes to modding. Let me introduce to you the Crescent Blades. These things are just, just watch. Well, first of all, let me just burn my, my, uh, my rage entirely. Let me just melee a bunch, help it go down faster. Check this absolute absurd <laughs> nonsense out. We're gonna jump and we're gonna do this. Look how fast. Nope. Okay, well, if this man just, just chilled for a minute. <laughs> okay, gotta leave. I want to focus on the big guy, but we'll try to focus on you too. But look how fast we attack. And the, the lightning. And just the fucking mess. Just like that. Go, 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 go. And we have our rage again. <laughs> and it's just absurd. And just not, if, if not just the weapon is crazy. Also, yes, let me take off all of the other pieces of your armor. Holy shit, we took off everything before we killed him. Jesus. This. Get our rage back. Kill one person. Turn it off. And now we're good to go. I will say the obvious thing that you probably shh, 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 shh. my alarms tell me to eat because I forget to. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm a broken human being. <laughs> uh, as you can see, though, uh, we attack absurdly fast because this is a fury weapon, and oh my god, dude! And this isn't even the best case scenario. That's the thing that's crazy. So first of all, Fury, if you guys don't know its intrinsic effect, um, is that it is just the more times you impact on a target, the more stacks of, uh, of speed uh, get stacked. So you'll just attack much, much faster, which is brilliant. But it also has the more times you hit a target, the more your critical rate goes up. So then you'll just be detonating a ton of critical specific perks. Oh, I don't know, maybe at, uh, like unstable, which is landing a critical hit for a chance to trigger an explosive impact. And if you're like me, who's playing Ryan or John, on, which one, I think it's Ryan. Um, force is amazing and that impact is lovely and having some AoE is always nice. But if you were to slap on any elemental mod and there are a ton, bleed I think would probably be the best. Bleed or physical because of weaken and bleed are just nuts. But for right now, I don't have any good one besides the electric one, which is plenty good, by the way. Uh, this one has like a crazy thing where the more I hit, the more it seems like it, it spreads damage out. Uh, it's just crazy. Now, the best perks you can get are anything that increases your durability, because actually, uh, you're just going to be chewing through your durability, which is why you kind of want two or three of these. Uh, also, they look so sick. Like, don't get me wrong, this also looks pretty fire, but not nearly as cool as these curved blades that just take up so much of your screen. Some are going to hate that, some are going to love that. Uh, but yeah, also, you can do a charge attack if you want. It's, it's just a fun weapon, uh, and it's brutal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, brutal. Um, uh, but I love these things, and I don't think there's a faster attacking weapon in the game. I do think these technically have, uh, almost the same attack speed. This one has 9, this one has 1.1. I did give it a little bit more attack speed with a mod, but that's crazy, man. <laughs> it's perfect. And if you have a rage build like your boy, then this is the icing on the cake because you need to get your, uh, hits, up, up, basically give you more uh, fury. So any weapon that you can massively hit, uh, very quickly is great. Uh, unfortunately, there's not that many 
like mods that let you uh, add durability to your weapon or even a card that like it gives you a small chance to repair your weapon by doing something by applying an element by hitting a target by lopping off a limb none of them are, are like that unfortunately hopefully eventually we get some if there's any sort of support after this game is launched that'd be cool but i did get this reduction of force to increase attack speed because this weapon specifically is going to be for my build which is trying to use it as like a stat stick for rage or fury but the question remains how do you get access to this brilliant brilliant weapon well some of you probably got access to it just by playing the game which is it kind of annoying uh characters are given greater drop rates it seems like based on the characters and their proficiency this is a sharp weapon that doesn't have that much force so of course for my character ryan who is a force character wouldn't be that good right no <laughs> it's just a good weapon on anybody it's it just synergizes within itself so you don't need to do a build thing around it um and, and yeah but uh, the one thing I would suggest uh, slapping on this, I, there's w perks that stand out in a big way. Uh, when you deal damage, just dealing damage to a zombie activates health regen that lasts a long time, uh, which is awesome because most of the problem with my build right now is that I heal in chunks, but not for a duration, which is uh, perfect for these. Oh my god, we could throw this one on there too. Boost electri electrified charge hit zombies, repeated hits shock and explode electrifying other zombies. We could do that, and that'd get pretty nutty, I think. Screw it. <laughs> Let's fully send it. This is a mistake, <laughs> but we're going to do that. Anyways, there's a lot of good mods. Pick whichever one you think is great. This one is the one that I want to make another version. We have an Electro one right now. I would love to get a bleed version, which just applies mass bleed to everyone. Mwah. Would be perfect. Damn mutated hearts. I haven't gotten that enemy to drop yet. Good. Anyways, question remains, how do you get access to this fantastic, fantastic weapon? If you weren't innately given it because you don't play that type of character, well, you're going to need to farm vendors. And the one that I found that drops this specific one, and it does seem like I've farmed a lot of the vendors and it doesn't seem like they all drop this, is this guy. Uh, when you get to the pier, you can now farm this piece of gear. I don't know if that's how it works, but I farmed constantly pinging ponging between vendors and I just couldn't get access to it besides this guy. Could be just a common luck, but is the case. I thought it'd be worth telling you. Anyways, so how do you farm in this game, by the way? You're just going to ping pong between two spots that you want. You can do the whole levels. I like to go to uh, Bel Air uh, specifically and then come back to this location and then just ping pong in between these two places. That is a way you could do it, me, but it's horribly inefficient. You could also just uh, save and quit. Uh, you will summon right into the lighthouse and then just turn around, talk to him, see what he's got, save quit. Uh, save quitting is way faster than going and loading a whole new level which is weird, but sure. Uh, so save quit, uh, and then talk to him, save quit, talk to him, save quit, talk to him. Eventually, this is essentially how you farm weapons in general in this game, uh, and that is the only vendor that I found has that specific type of blade, and I had to reset it a lot of a lot of a lot of time. But let's go see what that mod can do in action with the crescent blades. Uh, if you want the actual blunted sound and feeling of them, this works perfect. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit slower. I put a mod in here, here that increases force, but that works. It's also a frenzy weapon, so the more you hit, the more it stacks. Uh, okay, well, that guy's immune. Great. Oh, but we have a screamer. Perfect. Impact! There we go. And this. Melee. Melee. Let's get those stacks. And most enemies will go down in, in a couple hits anyway, and this big guy... Yeah, he's immune. But let's see what our new and improved, heavily modified, uh, even mutated uh, modification. See what that does on this Electro one. I can just dodge the, him getting attacking me. Yeah, it just becomes an AOE storm uh, in a big way. But this, I don't, I don't think there's a better weapon in the entire game than these uh, brass knuckles, or at least I haven't seen it. Granted, I do think it's different from what you're playing. I know there's a katana that just does so much maiming and pierce damage that it's super good, but this one's also pretty damn nutty. I want to fight like a big boy just to see how because like, every enemy dies too quick. Even though my build is mainly around uh, just doing fury mode. Uh, but let's see. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no, that's perfect. It does chew through durability. Uh, so you should have two or three of these on hand. I have reset that shot for such a long time, and I've only got one of these. So it might just be the designers being like, now we realized how nutty this is. <laughs> We're just trying to make it like it's a rare commodity. Um, but man, is it a blast. Uh, and if you put the right mods on it, it's just an, an absolute monster. 
Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, yes, that is how you essentially you make the most of brass knuckles. Starting this video, hopefully tantalizing you with a legendary brass knuckles to only show you that these ones are just as good, if not exceptionally better. Exceptionally. And frankly, this is probably one of the best weapons in the game, just because of its ludicrous attack speed and uh, slash and maim are so good in terms of builds. This thing could plug into just about any build and just be godly. So yes, thank you so much for your time. Hopefully I can see you again. More Dead Island 2 content coming on the way. Thank you so much for your time and goodbye.